What's up, everyone? Welcome to the May 29th Bet Pro video, Memorial Day. I am your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And we have four MLB games tonight. We also have Game 7 of the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. And we're going to look through some player props using the Bet Pro model. Now, we aren't going to touch on the NBA game um, solely because Malcolm Brogdon is questionable. He's expected to play, but we haven't gotten any sort of word on what that means, how how many minutes we can expect him to play uh, also gave Vincent questionable on the other side. So the entire NBA betting model right now is just highlighted in yellow um, because of two questionable players on both teams. Um, there's going to be a lot of moving pieces there. It's not going to do anybody any good to be getting those bets in right now. So we are going to skip over the NBA portion for this show, but we do have some MLB bets that we can walk through. If you're not familiar, this is a projections based prop betting model that uses our DFS projections for MLB and NBA, um, the same projections that we use in DFS to have success there. We compare those to prop lines across the industry, and we can use this tool to quickly and efficiently find the best value props to bet. So we're going to walk through some of the best MLB bets, but first make sure you are subscribed to the Odd Chopper YouTube channel and hit that thumbs up below the video. It helps us out quite a bit. Now, starting on BetMGM, at the top, we have Ryan Nelson. Uh, he is playing an afternoon game, so we're going to skip over him. Next, we have uh, Marcano, under one and a half total bases for Pittsburgh tonight in San Francisco. Uh, he projects for 1.3 total bases. The line is under one and a half at minus 155. That gives us a 66% chance of winning and a 9% expected return. Moving over to Caesars, uh, Taj Bradley is in an afternoon game, so we're going to skip that one. Next, we have Michael Kopech, under six and a half total strikeouts against the Angels at minus 143. He projects for five and a half, which gives us a 64% win percentage and a 10% expected return. Now, one word of caution here on Kopech. He has been very, very good his last couple starts out. He was at one time a very, very highly regarded pitching prospect that then dealt with some injuries and then didn't have a lot of success or sustained success at least. The reason I'm mentioning the last couple of starts is that there were some there was some speculation that Kopech was tipping pitches and that he fixed it. It has coincided with two dominant starts. So there is some chance, a higher than usual chance, that Kopech really has changed something and is going to be better going forward. But again, you're talking a couple of starts. Um, it's still more likely than not that he is just uh, an average pitcher. And so he does project under six and a half total strikeouts, but there is a little bit of added risk here based on how he's pitched recently. Moving over to DraftKings, MJ Melendez at the top in an afternoon game. Nick Allen taking on the Atlanta Braves under half of a total base at plus 110. He projects for 0.8 total bases, which gives us a 53% chance win of winning and a 12% expected return. Um, Allen's not a very good hitter. If he's in the lineup, he should be towards the bottom of the order. So uh, the under half of a total base at plus money looks good there. And finally on FanDuel, Kopech, again, at the top, under six and a half total strikeouts. We're going to ignore that one since we already talked about it. Sonny Gray is on the afternoon slate. Domingo Roman taking on the Seattle Mariners tonight in Seattle, under five and a half total strikeouts at minus 122. He projects for 5.1, which gives us a 58% chance of winning and a 6% expected return. So before we recap the top bets for MLB, as a reminder, we no longer have the seven-day free trial that we were offering since the inception of this video, but we do still have a very good offer for you. 75% off your first month. That's $24.95 for an entire month of using the Bet Pro model, less than $1 a day. We think that you'll like it and you'll stick around, but check it out for that first month. It's likely you make enough money plus some uh, to pay for itself going forward, and it should help you streamline your betting process, make you more efficient. You can quickly see the top bets across a variety of books. You can see the best bets at a given book if you're looking to bet there. Uh, so take advantage of the 75% off your first month of BetPro. Now to recap, starting with BetMGM, going under one and a half total bases for Tucapita Marcana at minus 155. On Caesars, we are going under six and a half total strikeouts for Michael Kopech at minus 143. On DraftKings, we're going under half of a total base for Nick Allen tonight against the Braves at plus 110. And on FanDuel, we are going under five and a half total strikeouts for Domingo Herman at minus 122. That's all I have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck on your bets. Enjoy tonight's NBA game. And thanks for checking out the video, everyone.